One of our guests today shot to fame a decade ago on the X Factor. That makes me feel wow. very old. The uh, other guest is responsible for some of the biggest acts in music, like Leona Lewis, Ollie Murs, Harry Styles, and this lady. Well, joining us live, it's Simon Cowell, and here with us in the studio, it's Lucy Sprague. Hey. Hello. 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 My, haven't you changed? I yeah. just said, yeah, when I saw that, but every time I see it, I think, who is that? <laughs> it was me ten years ago. Unbelievable. Yeah. And you were quite sort of out there at the time because you wrote your own songs. Yeah, I was the first person to do their own uh, compositions on the show, which is quite a cool thing to be able to say. Um, and it was, a, it was a different experience, like... Yeah. And, and obviously, ten years on, you've got your new single out, Balance. Mm. It's quite, um, it's quite a thought-provoking single. Tell us about the sort of the meaning behind it. Well, I've been behind the scenes. We were just talking about how different I look, you know, on to that. And and Katie said yeah. it's a transformation of like mind, body, and soul. Like it came from the inside and came outwards. And the song is. I, I had a therapy session with my therapist, who is my favourite person in the world. Um, <laughs> And we talked about how I'd done all of it on my own. I was always a very, you know, like staunchly independent person. And it actually makes things really hard if you're yeah. <laughs> not willing to reach out. You know, I haven't stopped listening to the song since it came out. Oh, it's, it's also so relatable. You know, you talk about messing up in your 20s. I think a lot of us have been there. But you're also really honest. And you, it, there's an element of acceptance in the song where you say, I'll never be perfect and polished. Yeah. And I think it's hard to get to that point of acceptance, isn't it? It is, and it's actually so, it's such a great feeling Yeah. to realise, and I think it happens in your 30s, that you're like, hang on a minute, I don't have to be anything. And, and genuinely, I turned 30 and I was like, I'm done. It's good clarity, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. You know, I must ask you, Simon, I know Simon's here uh, with us on Zoom. Hello, Simon. How are you? I'm very good, good to see you again. Um, I need yeah, likewise. To, I need to ask you, Simon, the title of the song, Balance. Now you've got um, the wonderful Lauren in your life and Eric too. Do you feel like you've achieved balance? Well, I'm, I'm certainly getting there. It's a good question, actually. I think, um, you know, talking about the song, you know, because I, you know, over the year, we all listen to like probably hundreds, if not thousands of songs a year. And I heard the demo of this song some time ago, and it was like it just rose to the top. It was very raw to begin with. But I remember listening to this lyric thinking, wow, um, this is a really, really amazing, powerful song. And, and I remember the first, every time I played it to everyone, they burst into tears. And I'm like, <laughs> I think that's a good thing. But that's the sign of a really great, great song, in my opinion. But to, anyway, to, to go back to what you were saying, uh, yes, I, it, I for sure, um, you know, where I currently am in my life, my career, um, being a dad, I, never, I mean, I was late to the party. So um, it was the best thing that ever happened to yeah. me. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Simon, I, I've interviewed you many times over the years and you've always had to make that you weren't going to have children. I uh, know. And look, look how it's transformed you. And I wanted to ask you about Eric because he he sort of gives you his opinion, doesn't he, on... on... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, oh, my God, yes. <laughs> uh, I mean, uh, not, not non-stop, by the way. Um, I mean, I th I've got a good idea what he's going to be when he's older, I think. But he's got... Uh, which is a, good, a really cool thing. He's got his own opinion. And he's his own man, which is really, really important. Um, and, yeah, he's a sweetheart. But you've got, like, audience research right there. That is your future audience, <laughs> isn't it? So it's a well, tough call. Yeah. I mean, that's the great thing, Jane, you're right, because when I watch the shows, you know, I watch them, you know, before they go out, and I'm I'm kind of looking at Eric at the corner of my eye thinking, does he like something, does he not like something? And annoyingly, he's normally right. <laughs> as your kids are. And Simon, you and our very own Katie, of course, are good friends and have collaborated together. How did how did you guys sort of form your your alliance in the beginning? Well, it was an. It, I mean, obviously, I, I I saw Katie's documentary, and when I saw the documentary halfway through, you got the feeling watching it that it was going to end badly, that she was never going to leave her house again. So I got so mad and so angry, I was phoning, trying to get hold of somebody from the show to get hold of her, 
she must have thought I was some complete weirdo because they kept <laughs> saying, you know, Simon, Simon, so and so is on the phone trying to get hold of her. She didn't believe me, and then eventually I got hold of her, and uh, she came to meet me at my offices, and I said. Um, you know, you know, after everything you've gone through, you know, uh, we, we spoke a lot about this. And I said, would you like to come and work for me? And she said, no. <laughs> and I went, all right, <laughs> thanks. What, what do you want to do? And she said, I want to start a, start a foundation. Would you help me? And uh, it, it was the start of something amazing. It was the start of an, uh, of an amazing friendship. And look, I'm, I'm talking to two Lucys now who I have so much respect for. Uh, both become great friends, uh, so it, it, it's amazing. And you've, you've worked with someone else on the panel, I believe. <laughs> well, Simon, do you remember that? I mean, I'm sure that you, <laughs> I'm sure that you, I'm sure you think of this often because I was, you know, I'm I'll not, just tell the I'm audience not. that Simon scuppered my chances of becoming the UK's Mariah Carey <laughs> many, <laughs> many, many years ago. Um, do you still feel guilty for that, Simon? <laughs> I, I, there's not there's not a night that goes by where I don't wake up thinking about it. I'm sorry. It's okay, but there's plenty want, time do to do a remix of the single that I did do with the, with another record company. So you can speak to me after the show. <laughs> so you ditch me. <laughs> No, yes, then I'll ditch you. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, by the way, I'm oh. all about bringing back Woolworths. By the way, pick and mix. Oh yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Lucy, I wanted to ask you a little bit about your transformation that. because you've done that, like you say, mind, body and spirit. But you are so different as a person and now you've got into your fitness, which I see on Instagram, follow you all the time, <laughs> like I feel a bit guilty, really, with everything you do. Um, is that a conscious decision to make those uh, changes as you get older to transform yourself? Because you're already a great singer, a great songwriter, but now you seem to be evolving all the time as a person, as a woman. But it's a huge compliment. <clears throat> Evolution is such a yeah. huge, like, that's such a huge compliment because I think as women, we're taught to, like, settle where we are. Like, people say, well, just learn to love yourself. And actually, it's sometimes easier to change things mm. than it yeah. is acceptance. Yeah. And I, I started on a journey without... I had no awareness of where it was going. I stopped drinking. That was such a huge mm, thing yeah, for me. Yeah. And sobriety kind of forces you into learning about yourself. And um, that changed everything for me. But it wasn't conscious. <laughs> well, actually, in the song, you talk about how routine's really important for you. And when you see triggers now and you see patterns evolving, you shut them down where you didn't before. That's quite interesting. It's, it's truly looking at the things that we keep doing and saying... I'm going to stop doing. I'm going to stop doing that now. Yeah. It takes you like eight more yeah. tries to yeah. stop. Yeah. But when you see the cycles, you can break them. Yeah. I think well, you've inspired oh. us all to be yeah. a bit yeah. more balanced. Yeah. 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 We're going to yeah. do a, a, a yeah. performance for us later in the show, which we're really looking Very forward exciting. to. Um, Simon, very quickly. Thank. Lovely to see you. How are the wedding plans going? Uh, still planning. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, typical Simon Cowell. Yeah, we so. need time to get our outfits <laughs> ready, so... <laughs> OK. And how about it's a nice show to, to bring Woolworths all, back? <laughs> I, I say, how about a show to bring Woolworths back, a TV show? Uh, listen, I'm, I'm there. Yeah, I do. Yes. exactly. <laughs> well, have a great Christmas. Lovely to see you.